Hi second graders, welcome back to phonics. This week we are going to spend more time scooping words into syllables. So remember, a syllable is what you read in one push of breath and we've been practicing scooping words into syllables and deciding what kind of syllables we have. So last week we learned about two different kinds of syllables, closed and open. So remember, a syllable only has one vowel in it. So a closed syllable word has a consonant that comes after the vowel and closes the vowel in. And that makes the vowel say a short vowel sound. An open syllable has no consonant after the vowel. The vowel makes a long vowel sound. So this week, we are going to practice reading words that have more than one syllable and deciding whether the syllables are closed, open, or if they have one of each. This week, we are also going to be learning about another sound that the letter Y makes. So last week, we learned that at the end of a one-syllable word, the letter Y makes the long I sound, like in cry. This week, we are going to be reading words that have two syllables with a Y at the end. When a Y comes at the end of a two-syllable word, it makes the long E sound. Repeat after me. Y, baby, E. Awesome job. So when you're reading a word with a Y at the end, you need to decide, does it have one syllable or two syllables? If it has one syllable, you are reading Y like I, like in cry. If it has two syllables, you are reading Y like E, as in baby. Okay, so this week, again, we're going to be scooping words into syllables deciding whether the syllables are closed or open, and figuring out how we're gonna read this Y. Let's practice a couple of words. Here's your first word. Your first word is relax. Let's scoop it into syllables. Relax, relax. I have two syllables in relax. Now I can tap it out. R, E, L, A, X relax. So my first syllable is re. Re, the E makes a long vowel sound. There is no consonant in this syllable after the E, so this is an open syllable. In the syllable lax, the A makes a short vowel, a sound, and there's a consonant after the A, closing it in. That means lax is a closed syllable. So in relax, I have one open syllable and one closed syllable. I'm marking those up with a little O and a C right underneath just so I know which syllable is which. Let's look at another one. Your next word is puppy. Puppy, let's scoop puppy. Pup, P, puppy. Okay, so in puppy, if I tap it out, I'm gonna tap p up e puppy. I have my first syllable, pup. There is a P that is closing in the U, making the U say a short vowel sound. So this is a closed syllable. In my second syllable, P, I have no consonant after the Y. The Y is the last letter in the syllable. It also makes the long vowel E sound. So this is an open syllable at the end. So I have a closed syllable and an open syllable. And since puppy is two syllables, I'm going to say the Y like a long E sound. We wouldn't say puppy, we say puppy, just like baby. Okay, here's your next example. This word is crazy. Let's scoop it, cray z crazy. If I tap that out, I would tap k r a z e crazy. Let's look at the two syllables. Here's my first syllable, cray. The a makes the long vowel sound and there is no consonant after the a, closing it in in this syllable. So this is an open syllable. I labeled it with an o. If we look at the second syllable, z, the y makes the long vowel e sound and there is no consonant after the y nothing to close it in, so this is an open syllable. So I have two open syllables in this word, crazy. 
So let's try a couple on our own. The first word we're gonna spell is this coin. We've learned about coins in math. What kind of coin is this? <clears throat> this is a penny. Let's scoop penny. Pen, E, penny. Now I'm going to tap. P, E, N, E, penny. Okay, so my first syllable, pen. I hear P, N. I hear a short vowel E sound. And I see that I have an N closing in the E. So this is going to be a short, I'm sorry, a closed syllable. My second syllable, knee. Hmm. I hear an N in there. And I know that at the end of a two syllable word, the Y sometimes makes the long E sound. So I'm gonna add a Y at the end. Pen knee, pen knee, penny. And since there's no consonant after the Y, to close it in, that is an open syllable. So I have a closed syllable and an open syllable in the word penny. It's two syllables. Okay, let's try another one. When you are all done with your work, we would say you are finished. You would say, "What? when did you finish your work? You finished so quickly. Let's try the word finish. Ready? Let's scoop it first. Fin-ish. Two syllables. Now we tap. In-ish. Finish. Okay, let's tap. Let's try one syllable at a time. The first syllable is fin. So I hear fin. I hear a short vowel I sound. So I know that this syllable is closed because the N is closing it in. In the second syllable, I hear ish. I hear a digraph at the end. Ish. I hear a short vowel I sound again, and the digraph is closing in the vowel. So that means it is closed. This word is two closed syllables. Finish, there are no long vowel sounds on this word. Okay, let's do one more. Here I have a jar of tulips. Tulips, let's tap out and scoop the word tulip, one of my favorite flowers. Two, lip. Let's tap t, u, l, ip, tulip. Okay, so I hear two syllables in there. The first syllable is t, u, hmm. I know that that is a long vowel u sound and there's nothing closing it in, so that's an open syllable. Tu, l, ip. I hear a short vowel i sound in there and I see that there's a p closing in the i, so we have a closed syllable, so open, and closed. Awesome job, friends. So this week, you're gonna spend time scooping and tapping and practicing spelling words with the Y as a long vowel E sound. I hope you enjoy this week's activities and I'll see you soon for more phonics. Bye, second grade.